Vikas over here and this is Arjunas guys today we are going to check out this enclosure over here that is from Phoenix contact and this is for Raspberry Pi and uh, this comes with DIN rail mount so you can just put this enclosure with Raspberry Pi into any panel that is having a DIN rail mount or you can just mount into your wall so this can come useful to users who are on to home automation using Raspberry Pi and uh, you want to just put your Raspberry Pi onto the sub panels and with other electrical appliances like MCCV or something so this uh, actually measures around like 11 cm uh, in width so let's see how it uh, fits so this has got different parts like the lid the upper case the lower case the base for raspberry pi the din rail clips so this comes with a non-transparent lid so if you are like interested in a transparent one you can certainly go ahead with that so i'll just hook it up like this and you can have uh, and it uh, closes like this so let's keep it aside i'm going to use a raspberry pi b plus model so let's put the support for this nicely so as we buy fits in like this I can put, put like that and just uh, you can put this on like this So we have just placed our Raspberry Pi inside it and this is how it looks ports like Ethernet and USB exposed and behind it you get the SD card slot where you can slip your SD card into ok uh, it's getting in nicely but uh, while removing it uh, it's giving me a tough time yeah let it be there so in this case along with your raspberry pi you can add some other components or other circuitry because there is a like place left over for other circuitry general if you want so to remove it so above the pi if you want you can put on some Okay, the SD card is holding to it. Let's remove it. Yeah. So above the Pi, if you want, you can put your shield or something. Over here, I am just using a PCB. So uh, let's see if uh, I can put some components onto it. So I am just adding these connectors over here on Pi. As I am just showing for demo, I am not going to solder it and I just I am placing so this is how it fits in so just remember your uh, like add on board shouldn't have much more uh, like PCB out outside of this connector over here because that will create issue while connecting it it doesn't have space left at this side so you can put it on like that and I am just uh, for demo putting another circuitry over here like this if you want and to power the raspberry pi you can use micro usb cable but then you need to put your circuitry uh, like 
uh, above the USB cable because uh, this may take some space. So I don't see any provision over here to like hook up your PCB or something. But uh, that will eventually work. And if you are like interested on like some kiosk or some applications where you need to put display out, you can put your HDMI cable over here and you can take out wires like this from this side and if similarly for audio if you want so if you are like uh, in a project where you want uh, like raspberry pi camera to be interfaced you can put on your camera onto this connector over here and you can make a hole or something or that so that your camera can be exposed to outside on the lid itself so let's see if it fits in with the add-on mode So I have put a add-on module with power into it. So uh, I have just placed a, a PV over here which uh, is uh, like uh, just uh, emulating a add-on board and I have placed a USB cable to make it on and alongside this you can just Put on your SD card and it goes. Yeah, there it goes. So one issue with this is uh, like whenever you uh, assemble the case, you don't see the power and activity LED. So you can't have a look onto it. So you can uh, just put your status and other LEDs onto the add-on module itself. So by opening up the lid, you can see if your Pi is working or it's uh, something else has happened or some error has happened. And besides this, you can sit on your like secondary circuits if any, or you can just uh, put some power supply circuits or something else that you want to use with your Pi. So right now I am having this uh, like buck converter over here. So as I am on to home automation and I am going to use this for uh, like my home automation system. And on most of the panels you get uh, like 12 volts or 24 volts or 48 volts. You, need, you might not be considering like putting a different power supply for the Pi. So there you can use these buck converters over here which can be placed over here like this and you can power it on by using a higher voltages to the Pi. So this takes the high voltage and it gives us 5 volt that can be used to power on the Pi. So like this you can place your small circuitries or secondary helping circuits beside your Raspberry Pi. So that's all with this. Uh, this might be useful if you are into home automation and you want to put your Pi onto some panel. Uh, but consider uh, like using some LEDs over here so that it will make your diagnosis a bit easier and you can go with a transparent lid so that you don't need to always like open it up and look into it you can just uh, look it from outside so that's all for today Th uh, thank you guys thanks for watching if you have liked this video please hit the thumbs up button and you can subscribe to my channel for videos like this thank you see you next time with my next video so when this these are the DIN rail mount connectors so you can put it into any DIN rail or any panel having general.